a group of genetic disorders affecting the structure's comprehensive script, we will explore 12 special. Each topic is designed to provide you with detailed insight manifestations and potential treatment strategies. Hemoglobinopathies. Hemoglobinopathies are a diverse group of inherited disorders characterized by abnormal forms of hemoglobin or reduced hemoglobin production. Now, let's delve into the 12 specialized topics that will enhance your understanding of these conditions. The beta-globin gene cluster, located on chromosome 11, plays a crucial role in hemoglobin production and regulation. It consists of several genes, including the beta-globin gene itself and other regulatory elements. Mutations in this gene cluster can lead to the development of various beta-globinopathies, such as sickle cell disease and beta-thalassemia. We will explore the structure, function, and regulation of the beta-globin gene cluster in detail. Sickle cell disease is one of the most well-known hemoglobinopathies. It is caused by a point mutation in the beta-globin gene, resulting in the formation of abnormal hemoglobin S. The polymerization of hemoglobin S within red blood cells leads to the characteristic sickle shape, causing vascular occlusion, tissue damage, and a range of clinical complications. We will discuss the factors contributing to hemoglobin S polymerization and its impact on disease progression. Alpha thalassemia is a hemoglobinopathy characterized by reduced or absent production of alpha globin chains. This deficiency can result from gene deletions, mutations, or other genetic alterations. Patients with alpha thalassemia may experience various clinical presentations, ranging from mild anemia to severe disease requiring regular blood transfusions. We will explore the genetics, pathophysiology, and clinical management of alpha thalassemia. Beta thalassemia major is an autosomal recessive hemoglobinopathy characterized by a severe deficiency in beta globin chains. This genetic disorder leads to ineffective erythropoiesis, chronic hemolytic anemia, and significant clinical consequences. We will delve into the molecular basis of beta thalassemia major, associated complications, and therapeutic approaches, including regular blood transfusions and iron collation therapy. Hemoglobin E is another structural variant of hemoglobin that can impact the oxygen-carrying capacity of red blood cells. Individuals with hemoglobin E trait exhibit mild microcytic anemia, while those with hemoglobin E disease may experience more severe clinical manifestations. We will discuss the molecular mechanisms underlying hemoglobin E and its clinical significance. Oxidative stress plays a pivotal role in the pathophysiology of many hemoglobinopathies. Abnormal hemoglobin variants, coupled with chronic hemolysis, generate reactive oxygen species, leading to cellular damage and oxidative stress-induced complications. We will examine the intricate relationship between hemoglobinopathies and oxidative stress, emphasizing potential therapeutic targets for alleviating oxidative damage. Traditional management of thalassemia relies on regular blood transfusions to correct anemia. Non-transfusion-dependent thalassemia, NTDT, represents a milder form of thalassemia, where patients require fewer or no blood transfusions. We will explore the genetic and clinical characteristics of NTDT and discuss alternative treatment modalities, such as hydroxyurea, erythropoietin, and iron collation therapy. Prolonged red blood cell transfusions in severe hemoglobinopathies, such as thalassemia major, can result in iron overload. Excess iron deposition affects various organs, leading to complications like organ dysfunction, endocrine abnormalities, and cardiomyopathy. We will examine the mechanisms of iron overload, its impact on patient outcomes, and the management strategies to maintain iron balance. Fetal hemoglobin, HBF, plays a crucial role in ameliorating the clinical severity of certain hemoglobinopathies. Inducing HBF production has emerged as a potential therapeutic approach to mitigate symptoms of these disorders. We will explore the molecular mechanisms underlying fetal hemoglobin induction and the various pharmacological and gene-based strategies employed to enhance HBF levels. Bone marrow transplantation, BMT, or hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is a curative option for severe hemoglobinopathies. It involves replacing the patient's defective hematopoietic stem cells with healthy ones from a suitable donor. We will discuss the principles, complications, and outcomes associated with BMT, along with the challenges in finding optimal donors. Advancements in genomic editing technologies, such as CRISPR-Cas9, offer promising avenues for targeted correction of genetic mutations underlying hemoglobinopathies. We will delve into the principles of these cutting-edge technologies, the challenges in applying them to hemoglobinopathies, and the ethical considerations surrounding their use. 
vast array of genetic disorders with far-reaching implications. These 12 specialized topics has provided you with a comp manifestations and therapeutic strategies related to research and advancements in molecular biology will treatments in the future. Stay curious, embrace of hemoglobinopathies.